have Olga Piccolau from one of our sponsors, One Immigration. One Immigration Consulting offers expert advice and legal representation services, as well as professionalism and ethical practice. Whether you are a skilled worker seeking a job in Canada, an investor, you to expand your business, an employer, looking for an international worker to join your successful company, an international student looking for an opportunity to join one of the world famous Canadian colleges and universities, a family member wishing to join your family already in Canada, or if you simply want to visit Canada, they're an option as well. So pretty much anything related to your travel and immigration needs, they're an organization you should look at. Olga is here to present from them. Hello everyone, um, I'm very happy and very grateful to be able to, um, we at One Immigration, very happy to be able to be part of the journey for the new startups um, and for the um, co-founders transitioning from temporary residents to permanent residents, uh, be part of the journey. I think that that's very um, gratifying and it's something that um, it's part of their success as well. So now I'm going to be introducing the next uh, unicorn, uh, would be Cloudwalk. In November 2021, Brazilian startup company Cloudwalk raised 150 million US dollars in Series C funding. This financing round brings the company's total capital raised to 365 million US dollars and implies a post money valuation of 2.15 billion US dollars. With a presence in 150,000 stores across 4,300 cities in Brazil, Cloudwalk's vision is to create the best payment network um, worldwide as the company is um, democratizing the payments industry by empowering merchants and entrepreneurs through technological, inclusive, and life-changing solutions. Um, Pablo de Melo Leonardo uh, is partner and CCO at Cloudwalk, a ca cutting-edge global payment network located in Brazil and valued at over 2 billion US dollars. His main goal is to scale the most innovative payments company deeply transforming how payments are made in Brazil and changing the Brazilian entrepreneurs' lives. So let's welcome Pablo. Hello. Uh, I'm really glad to be here. Uh, first, I start to prepare my presentation in French. Then someone told me, Pablo, in Toronto, they don't speak French, they speak English. So I translate everything to English. And um, um, I am um, glad, as an entrepreneur, to be um, in an event like that. We met um, uh, Miriam two years ago. Uh, I did some, um, some program with Latin. It was amazing. I really met some very interesting people here in Canada, some banks, car networks. And um, for sure, it is one of the best programs that I have part uh, in whole life. Uh, we did everything. We started the company in Silicon Valley. We have been accelerated by plug and play, and then we're back to Brazil. Um, I will tell you something about how we fixed some high growth problems, because we, we are onboarding, for example, right now, more than 30,000 merchants per month. Per month. Uh, we are um, issuing cards as well for those merchants and consumers. We, we start three years ago for this business, because we iterated the business several times. Um, from scratch, in less than three years, more than 350,000 merchants, more than 500,000 consumers using our cred, using our uh, financial services in Brazil. And um, let's start with the beginning. So I will pass through, uh, first of all, the market opportunity, just to figure out how it's working. The market in Brazil is not different than the Canadian market. We have five big banks. Um, only uh, the majority of the market, more than um, five, uh, 500 mid billion Brazil, uh, dollars in transactions in Brazil. It's a huge market. Um, the market is concentrated with these five major banks, with their five, four or five major merchant services. It's not different like here. I'll tell you something, but you will be pretty familiar with that. 
um, the transaction, the card transaction is, gra is grow, every, every is grow uh, 33% because there is a lot of money payment in Brazil, still having. 25% um, of those SMBs, uh, they uh, are still not accepting credit card transactions or digitalized transactions. And um, the SMBs in Brazil, we, in Brazil there is a very particular thing. We can sell something, if you are a merchant, sell something up to 12 installments. It's a kind of buy now, pay later that's happening right now here in, in North America, but we do that in Brazil since three years, 30 years ago. Uh, it it starts when you go for a merchant, you have no credit, you sign a paper, and you put there in up to 12 installments in the paper. And you sign that, and then you go every month when you receive your paycheck, you go and pay back the merchandise that you bought from the merchant. So we have buy now, pay later, different kind, but we have. You can have... You can buy instantly, you don't need to have a credit approval. In the right moment of the purchase, you have the, your, your credit pre-approved, so credit card work like that. But the problem is that merchants, they are paying around 30% of the whole product price just to get their money in the next day. That, that's insane. This is a kind of a sharkery legalized. That's insane. And the money, don't, that's something really important to keep in mind, that the money should be settling right now, instantaneously. Don't make sense to receive the money in 12 installments. Don't make sense to receive the money next day, but paying 30% of your sold. This is why, if you visit Brazil, it's one of the explanation why the things in Brazil is more expensive than here in Canada or, or you, United States. There is all the explanation as tax and everything else, but it's one of the major explanations. Uh, I will talk about very important thing. When we started CloudWalk, uh, we developed technology for banks and merchant services, acquires in Brazil. And we started putting a POS, this is a POS machine, in the cloud. It was why CloudWalk. We was the first in the world in 2000. 14, that put the POS on the cloud. What does it mean? You don't need to get, get, get in back, grab your POS machine to update that. We update that using the cloud. Just in one, one ounce for every, every merchant that uses uh, CloudWalk technology POS based. Doesn't work. Didn't work because it's not scale. We, we, we just provide the best technology for who was making money. We, we was making money, but not enough to be a, a global company as we dreamed, not to be a very scalable company. So there is no market fee for exponential growing. So we changed it. We changed it and we built a white label technology. If you want to build the Latin payment company, we, did, we can do that in 10 minutes. With your POS, your look and feel, Processing using blockchain, um, tokenizing your transactions, connect to the card networks, that didn't scale. Because again, we was serving some B2B business that don't know how to do payments on the streets. At the time, we didn't know as well, but we have the, you know, the, 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 the dream to do that. But, and then we decided to, okay, we have the technology, we can build a POS, Let's try to sell that for merchants. And then we did the contract with ISOs, independent sales organizations, and we put them to sell the POS to the merchants. Again, it didn't work. Because they received the whole technology for free. They can set up the POS in 10 minutes with their look and feel, look and feel. everything made by us, using the best art technology, didn't work because they want to make a lot of money, a lot of profitability, same behavior that the other competitors, the other acquirers, merchant service they are doing in Brazil. What we did, we decided to launch our product direct to kind of consumers because we are selling for SMBs. When you sell for SMBs, you sell for entrepreneurs as well. So me as entrepreneur, I. I start to talk uh, to thinking how, okay, there is a problem, it's expensive to pass transaction installments or in a credit or in debt. 
The merchants don't receive the money next day or instantaneously in the speed of the light. My partners and me, we decide to go and talk to, with some customers. Everything changed when we start to visit the first customer. So if you want to have a market fit, a true market fit, talk to your customer. Go, go to the street, talk to them. Understand what is the real problem. Not the problem that you have in your mind, but the real problem. In Brazil, the real problem for SMBs is cash flow. Because they need to pay a lot to receive the installments. I, I buy a television as a consumer. I will, be, I will pay my television up to 12 installments in a year. And the merchant will receive each installment each month in a year. There is a cash flow problem here. And if I want to be prepared, I need to expand uh, something between 20, 30% of the wholesale for the merchant service. So there is a real problem, money problem, for more than 90 million SMBs in Brazil. That's a huge problem. So let's fix that because we have the technology, we have. We do everything in the cloud, different than other merchant services, uh, with the best technology that we have created. Everything that we have in CloudWalk, we, we program it inside of the house. I am a computer engineer. I have a master in economics in France. My, my partners, they are computer, computer engineers as well. All the board of uh, directors in CloudWalk, we are software guys. So we always think how to fix it using software, artificial intelligence, blockchain, and we develop things, everything inside the house. So, and we talk to Chella Boutique, our first, first customer. Chella told us that it's, it's the same scenario in the whole country. Is the family-owned business sound similar for you here in Canada, that? So family business, they are paying 90% to receive the money and they plus one. In, in, a, in average, three, four installment sales. Uh, did not sell installments because it's expensive. Um, huge cash flow problem because I need to buy right now to sell now and receive in three months, four months, five months. So, and it doesn't work. And what she used? Low on sharks. Low on sharks was less expensive than the banks for her, because he, she hadn't credit. She hadn't a clean name in the bank. Imagine that, it's insane. It don't make sense at all. And we did, we understood that, we visited a lot of customers, and we, we understood that they had a problem. In one week, in less than one week, we built the market in sales material, those guys, they are the banks. <laughs> uh, the POS, because we had the technology. This POS, there is no look and feel because it was less ex expensive to buy. So I, I go to the factory, the manufacturer, I ask them, what's the lower POS that you have? The guy told me, the black one. And I, told, I call it to call block my fellows. So guys, now our color will be black is the less expensive way to launch our product very fast. So we bought the POS. This was the production line, how we set up the POS to deliver to the customer. Here it was me, Pedro, and Bernal, my partners, and it was our stock. I bought, really, I bought 50 POS, 50 machines without money, I told to the CEO for the fact, manufacturer told him, I will pay you in 30 days because I, have, I haven't money to buy the POS, but I promise you that in a year, I will, one year to year, I will buy 30,000 terminal per month. And the guy will look at me, he laughed, of course. He told me, okay, Pablo, you are insane. I know that you are crazy, but I believe you. I like crazy guys. I like maverick guys. You are maverick. I like you. I will give you 50 POS for free. So I bought 50 POS, it's a whole stock. I go for a paper store, I bought 50 uh, packs like that, and it is, was my car. I put all, the whole POS in my car, and the whole immersions that I interviewed before, I de delivered the POS for free. I just tell them, use. If you save money in the end of the, the, the month, you are still a customer with us. And then, now we have a very fancy things, app, 
e-commerce. We, we onboarded more than 300,000 merchants without any salespeople. Why? Because we have a market fit. If your product has a very good market fit, it's sell by yourself. If it is a good product, it's sell by yourself. It, if the customers see value, it, it, it's sell by yourself. So in less than three years, this is under our new POS. It's a kind of Apple experience that we developed. But remember, just a week, very fast. Go to the street, talk to the customer, discover, because money, the man, money that you're raising, will finish. Go quickly, go fast, really fast, as a crazy. And then we have now Android POS, very fancy, the best in the Brazil industry, because we had money to invest, or we haven't. This is something that I call it the cockroach culture. When you haven't money, we haven't money from 2014 up to 2018 when we did our Series A, we leave it by ourselves. Cockroach culture. When you have cockroach culture, this thing about uh, making money, be profitable, no matter, because we was profitable since the beginning. We need to be profitable. We sleep in the floor of the office. When we, my, my, my partners, our founder, my, my co-founders, they come to Sao Paulo, I am based in Sao Paulo, they sleep in the floor of the, 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 the office because it was not important to, um, to have money in the pocket. It was important to scale the company, to have a company, to have a product, to have a market fit. That's important. Keep this in mind. Now we have very good, very interesting things. We created, a, we have our own blockchain. We are tokenizing the holy operations that we do through the card networks. We have direct lessons with Master, Visa, American Express. We are a processor as well. We have a, a banking account as well for merchants in Brazil. Less than three years. We do lending. We lend money for the customers. Um, we do cash back in our stable coin. We have a stable coin. It's called BLC, more than 100,000 consumers, they are using day by day our stable coin that we back it with real, Brazilian real. Uh, some lessons here. Try and iterate it over and over and over. There is a lot of entrepreneurs here. Iterate it. Don't be afraid. Try, try, try. Go to the street. Try. Don't work. Kill. Do, a, do, do, do again. Do differently. Kill. Don't work. Do again. That's the most important lesson. Never, never stop. Move fast, really fast, but really fast. Because there are many others trying to be better than you. Really fast. And the result is that. Second lesson, everything breaks. When you are in high scale moment, everything breaks. Everything, including yourself. I unbreak it every day. My wife, she's here with me. And sometimes she look at me and say, what's happening? Right now, I say, struggle. I am in the fight. Let me fix the problem. Because it's, it's a struggle. I, I just I have a bench of problems, like bananas, popcorns, to, to tell you. Bench of them. Bench of them. Money raising, logistics, customer experience, a lot. But I just pick up two to share with you. First one about logistics. When we start to scale, we start to scale from Chela that I showed you. In three months, we onboarded more than 25,000 merchants in those structures, without money, without nothing. It's, it, it was crazy. So just 50% of the whole POS that we sold was delivered. And the customer was calling us, really pissed off. Tell me, I need my saving right now with your rate, with your product. I bought your POS. I need my POS, my, POS, my bank account right now. What's happening? And say, so, you know, we just tell them, I'm sorry. We didn't want to make some trouble for you, but you are making trouble for me. And so, and the second thing that was really rushed is that we, we take at least a month to deliver POS. Imagine you that you need to save your money right now, and now you know that CloudWalk has the best product, the best interest rate for money anticipation, money processing. I need now. It's not my problem. You sold me. I need my POS right now. I can't wait. 
30 days, and even I don't know, because it's a 50% of chance that, that you not receive your POS, you receive the POS. You, you can, they, they, they found my home address. They found my personal number. They sometimes look at me, and I was in the, the in phone, talk to the customer, they didn't even know who he, who he was. Say, sorry, sorry, I will give you a POS, I will send it to you by uh, Bra uh, Brazilian mail services right now. I got that and visit the Korea uh, mail service and put in the mail service and deliver to the version. Was was crazy. And the most insane thing that we sold more than, a, in two months, we did a promotion, we sold more than 100,000 POS, but we have in stock. Because it was the pandemia, pandemic time, without supply in China. So, three months to deliver the POS. And then we figured out, no, it doesn't work. We need to do something. So, we talked to the best in the industry, in the, in the, the delivery, because I am a software engineer. And I, I take care, care about operations as well. I don't know how to deliver POS, truly in the whole country. Brazil is a huge country, as Canada, continental country. I start to call for whole CEOs in Brazil that knows about logistics. I meet all of them. I did a lot of annotations, learning, learning how to deliver a POS in the country. And my target it was to deliver a POS in less than five days. I was the, taking three months. I, I would like to deliver in the whole country in less than five days. I, I figured out the best in the industry. I learned with them. I hired them to help us. Uh, we changed everything that didn't work because, you know, as an entrepreneur, you have an ego, you know. It's good to have an ego, but it's not good if you not control your ego. Because you create things, say, it's your son. But I have created that, I cannot kill that. It's my son, though, so don't let this dominate you, kill your ego. Do a sales forecast, that's really important, I learned that. Because the sale forecast will help the whole company to follow the company growth. Uh, do a supply diversification should not be stuck out. And uh, look, at the, look at the data. See the data. That's the most important thing that you have. See the whole market data, your company data. Any metrics that you can get in your company, see the data. The results, just to back here, now it is our supply chain. Warehouse. We have in more than five uh, regions in Brazil. We are able to deliver POS in less than five days, in average. Uh, and we, we have merchants in more than uh, 5,000 uh, 5, cities in Brazil. From scratch. So now we have a 96% of delivery rate last week. Uh, five days to deliver POS in any city in Brazil, in average. And merchants in more than uh, 5,000 cities. The other problem it was with customer experience. We have created a customer experience in a wrong way because we created a team to fix individual problems and we are not, in, we are not taking care of large companies. We are taking care of a massive number of companies. So doing, doing things, um, tailored, doesn't work. And we hired people without our culture. That's other shit that we did. And um, that's really important. We are a tech company. Everyone asked me, you are a bank? No, I am a tech company. I do banking services. As a tech company, because it's my, our background. As a tech company, we need to do the things different. So we changed, we start to change the name to show to the company that this is what we believe. It's not customer experience, it's a customer engineering. What means that? It means that we fix root problems. It means that the person that talks to the customer, he knows technically how to fix the software problem or the app problem or the POS problem. He goes to the code, he, cannot, he can commit a code, he can do just not one thing for one merchant. When he fix a problem, he fix for uh, 300,000 merchants. That's how you scale and how you take care about 350,000 merchants with just 70 persons, per, per people. Automatizing everything that we need. We pass now for less than five minutes to, um, to interact with the, the customer. We talk three hours before. 
Um, we monitor in their performance. We do ranks, a lot of ranks. We measure people performance all, all the time, every time. We promote the best one. We fight it who doesn't work, who is not good, because we have a high, high pattern in the company. Each, each quarter, we do a, a rank evaluation for each one of the employees, so it's really important. And training, and we open a space in the week called the Ask Me Anything About Customer, who the founders answer any doubts regarding how we need to deal with customers. Th that changed everything. Now, last, last beginning of this month, UBS, you know UBS? The Swiss bank, biggest Swiss bank, they launched a research where we are, we have the best customer service score in the Brazilian industry. And 80% of the whole Infinite Pay Club Lock customer would back to return to the business with us. That's huge. Because everyone told us that, that we doubt people on the street will be possible to do that. And we show it that it's possible. And we did that without salespeople going to the store. Other problem, problem three, keeping, keeping the culture. That's really important. That's matter. Culture, it's about people. And people is about hiring the right people. If you want to keep your culture, take care about your own work process. Um, we believe it that hiring without criteria should be enough. We hire a bunch of people because we grow in the beginning. But we are fast, we are realizing less than a month that we will be, sorry, the word fuck it off. Uh, and we affected the business, the people, we believe that the people could learn our culture. That's a huge mistake. Believe me, it's a huge mistake, take time. Could happen, could happen, but take time. And something that I ha haven't right now is time, because I am growing as a fast. Have money to support because now, if you're a startup, if you work in tech world, it will be rushed to uh, raise money. So take care about your money. You haven't time. Believe me, you haven't. For the next 36 months, you haven't time. So do things in the right way. A customer wasn't in the in the center of the discussion in the company. It was a, a lot of um, gas meetings, mistakes, a lot of blah blah blah. You know what is blah 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 means? Nothing. Uh, too mediocre, the mediocre deliveries, product crashing, disappointed customers, and the good people that started with us, they was angry, they are bad with us because we onboarded bad people. And why I want to be in this company with bad people? I want to be with the best. I, w I want to learn with the best in the industry. So why I, I, I will stay here? And a lot of team verticalization, boss of the boss of the boss, when I realized that we have a pyramid, Egyptian pyramid in the company, say, so stop everything. Don't make sense. We are a startup. The decisions should be or in a reasonable way. Don't make sense. So we change it. We make clear in what the company believe. We wrote that in the website. We hire people who belong and believe in our culture. That's important. Whole, the whole founders, we interview everyone in the company. We make sure that everyone that is joining the company is aligned in what we believe. Uh, we hire people that build or work in extraordinary things. That's, that's really interesting. I ask for everyone, what, tell me just one, in, one extraordinary thing that you made in your life. Because I want to do extraordinary things. I need people that did that. Because people that did that will help me to build extraordinary things. I don't want people that did uh, mediocre things. Because my company is not mediocre. My company wants to build an interplanetary payment network. It don't make sense to hire someone that's mediocre. Any decision in the company should take attention to put the customer in discussion. That's really important. 
customer is the king. Now I could add here that cash is the king as well for who is running the tech startup. Don't hire just because you need. Left there, the job opportunity. Hire just the people that you truly believe, that you push you forward, that you change your product, that you move your company forward exponentially. Exponentially, not just a step. You should go exponentially. You are entrepreneuring, not just to create a company. You are doing things to change lives with a purpose. That's really important. And just to have some idea, we are really hard in our communication. Here, we what do we believe? Uh, we call it everyone in CloudWalk as a wolf pack. We act as a wolf pack. There's the old, old wolf, the new wolf. We take care about everyone. That's really important. Who we care. We, we, we love technology. We are a tech company. A company made by software engineers. There is no co corporate bullshit in the company. Really clear. The client is our lord, and the client is our savior. Sometimes the guys ask me, Pablo, that, that's really serious. My God is, is Jesus. I say, yeah, but it's not good with uh, the capital G, you know, take care. <laughs> and jump in the abyss. Come with us, because we are doing different things. Very different things. Last problem, bureaucracy. When you onboard a lot of people, we have now 400 employees in 15 countries delivering products in Brazil, preparing to be an international co company, next step. Uh, I bring Thais here to convince her to move to Canada and start our North Operation uh, project, but it will be hard. Um, too many meetings, meetings, gas meetings. So I guess if we change the color of the screen, from black to red, the customer will be more sex. So a lot of this kind of thing. I guess if we do launch, if you want to launch a, a credit card, I believe that the sh bullshit. A lot of this bullshit in the company. We keep, we ask everyone to meet for a meeting. We stop it with that. We figure out who was leading this kind of discussions. We fired the people. Really clear to make the message to the company it will make sense. This uh, and people doing activities not related to the core business, the product or put part the part product or the customer. We changed everything. Last week I discovered that some engineer was doing was Luis and me. We was in a meeting talking, and someone told us that some engineer was doing a CRM to take care of the customer. Say what? We are not a CRI company. We are a payment company, tech company doing payments. And um, we stop at that. Say, guy, if you take our doing that, please take care about the core product, the customer. Don't do that. Do just control things in the spreadsheet. It's not the time to have CRM. We are not a public company. One day that we could be a comp public company, you do that. But not now, but don't do, do a CRM, but hire a CRM. Don't make sense. So some rules, just to finish. First rule, when you see bureaucracy, is the snake rules. Just to step back, snake rules. When you see a snake, I am I born in Amazon region, in Brazil. My family, they are Italians, French people that moved to Brazil, but I was born in Amazon region. When I am in the jungle, if I see a lawn, a snake, what I do with the snake? And the snake wants to bite me. I kill the snake. If a problem wants to bite me, I, I kill the problem. That's it. You don't call for a committee. You don't ask for a meeting. You don't invite people to hang out. You don't discuss. You don't do a strategic planning how to kill the snake. You know, you don't do a five years plan to kill the snake. No, you kill the snake. Just kill the snake. Second rule. You don't beg to talk about that snake. That snake is that snake. Go and kill other product, other problem. Do, go and kill another snake because there is many snakes. You are growing a lot of problems, competitors, market. Um, everything changes all the time. So kill the snake. 
Don't talk about that snake. That snake, that snake. Left there. And the last rule is the most important rule. The, all opportunities start seeing, looking like a snake. Every opportunity to be better. Every opportunity to improve your company. Every opportunity to hire the right people. Every opportunity to create your culture. culture take it. Do it. That's the three snakes rule. I teach that for every employee that joined the company. I got the time to talk with them. This is now our product. The result is that we have a lot of problems. The really fast moving company. Each month we launch a new product. We have a target to do that. Um, we do anticipation, Android POS, reconciliation, financial for the merchant. We do marketplace for them. Uh, we do uh, the online shop. Tap on phone is a soft, uh, soft POS. We can transform any Android uh, smartphone in a POS with the whole security thing using our technology. Everything here is made by us, everything, with, with just 400 employees. We do PIX. PIX in Brazil is instantaneous payment. You do payments right now and the merchant receives right now. Um, we do payment link. Um, we have our blockchain. We do crypto. We do our credit card. We do lending, we lend money for merchants using a DeFi protocols in our blockchain. Um, uh, that's it, we lend, we lend a card, a wish card for our consumers as well. We are building um, um, our network. We work with a traditional network, but we are building our network with our BLC, with our card consuming blockchain, everything made by us, and with the lowest costing at least 30 a fraction of the price that we have with the interchange that is um, charged by the card networks. And that's it. Thank you very much. Such a pleasure to be here. My new friend, Canadian friend, Alf. <laughs> Thank you.